Boy, navigating your way around this uh, college admissions process is never easy, especially true for students attending Cabrini University now, which was recently purchased by Villanova. Your world goes into a question mark and you wonder what's next, and that uncertainty is one of the hardest things to deal with. That's really what, what hurts. Um, to know that, you know what I mean, it's no turning back and that there is no year past next year, like, for sure. Playing baseball, mm -hmm. and now, what's he going to do? Yeah. So that's why it helps to have a plan. Yeah. When life throws you curves. So what exactly should you be doing if you are one of the 1,600 Cabrini students still having to start all over again? We have college and career strategist Linda Hollenbach of Hollenbach Consulting, and also we have financial planner Jocelyn Wright Jocelyn. joining us this morning. Thank you both for being here. Well, I guess the first thing you would do is not panic. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> Keep breathing, folks. Yeah, first thing when change happens is to pause, is to breathe and reflect. Take some time to think about what it is that you're, what you love about your college experience, but also what you would change. This is a time that can be overwhelming, disorienting, but also an opportunity for you to really think and figure out what your next step well, is. Well, you got it. You're going to have to change because mm -hmm. Cabrini's not going to be there anymore. So you say, breathe. Stay informed, do your research, get prepared, make the most of the time that you have here. But my gosh, uh, Jocelyn, I guess you gotta find another school. You're, you're not gonna right. get absorbed by Villanova right away. No, so of course they're going through 2024, and um, you do have the ability to transfer to Villanova, but keep in mind there is a big difference in price between the two. Yes. So, Again, thinking positively, see, this might be an opportunity to go to a school that you may have thought about that you didn't get into your Maybe freshman year. that might be the same size as a Cabrini. Correct. And there are a lot of those in our area. Right, so you can potentially stay local. Of course, we have the benefit of having so many schools here in this area but that you, you could You go better to. check and see if the credits But the cost transfer. is going to be important, credits, because this may extend the time to graduation if the credits don't transfer. So all of those things have to be kept in mind. And also deadlines. You are under a time crunch to, you know, Apply, so start early. And Cabrini and they've been very good in terms of making counselors available to mm -hmm. help students plan for that transition. So get those appointments in early. You know, make sure you're filing for your FAFSA, all of those things. There may be transfer scholarships available because you have an academic record now. Um, so if you have good grades, you may be eligible for scholarships. That's why that Linda always says, you got to do your research. Do your oh research. Oh, my God. Yeah. They have this great um, opportunity. They've already partnered. I'll, Credit the Cabrini people for making relationships with Holy Family, Gwinnett Mercy, and Eastern to make the transfer easier. But this is an opportunity to do your research. Is that are those three schools the right fit for you? Each school and their programs are going to be unique. The campus culture. They really want to find out are these going to be the the right people to help you carry forward through your your graduation. Those are three and good choices. Though. They're excellent yeah. choices. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned there's some great things you can take with you, and all is not lost. Like recommendations, because you've already been with some of the professors at Cabrini. Take that with you. Absolutely. This is a great time that with this final year at Cabrini. Celebrate it while you uh, cherish that legacy. Get the leadership opportunities in. Make those relationships with the professors. Ask for letters of recommendation, whether it be for the transfer or even just a letter of reference to take with you for career in the future. Mm -hmm. you know, make if, those connections. If you go to one of these other maybe smaller schools, could you still get a scholarship? It's possible. Yeah. So uh, look for everything and don't just look for the school scholarships. There are many outside scholarships that go unclaimed because students simply don't apply. So this is an opportunity to see what scholarships is are that available. Is right? go unclaimed? You're right. Just sitting there? Right. It, it may just be an application or a letter yeah. that you have to write uh, in order to, to qualify for that. And don't, you know, overlook the small ones. You know, the $500, the $1,000, those add up. Oh, that's true, yeah. Remember when I was going to school, I did a lot of the little scholarships. Yes, and, and put them all together. Oftentimes, you can use the same letter, just modify it mm -hmm. a little, a little bit in order to apply. Well, the best of luck. It's just kind of sad, you know, when the because you made your friends, you have your own yeah. little life that you have set up. But those friends and relationships carry with you. So mm -hmm. yeah, don't don't totally disregard the relationships that you've built. Yeah, and, and know that sometimes you know when one door. Door closes, an opportunity, window of opportunity opens, and so stay positive and hopeful for the future. All right, I, you're so positive, and you're so positive, <laughs> and then there's Alex. Oh, what's No, up? I'm kidding. You're very positive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 